how to create a dilative symmetry pattern like this in Photoshop. First thing to do, go to File and New. Go for about 860 by 860, 72, and key thing, transparent for the background contents. Click Create. Then go over here to the Tools panel and Elliptical Marquee Tool. Select that. Create a selection. Hold down the Shift to create a circular selection. Then go to the Gradient Tool. Here's the Gradient Tool. Go up to the Gradient Editor. Click on that. And you can see you get a whole range of different gradients. Now I'm going to go for this. I'm going to create a blue blue stop. And you can add stops simply by clicking below or just dragging off if you wish to remove. So you've got this stop here. Set the color to dark blue, fairly dark color. Could be blue, green, etc. And then also set a yellow. Set a yellow about there, about 80%. So you want it fairly close to the white, but just add a stop there. You could, of course, add other colors. However, make certain you've got a white there, far end, and that's at 100%. So you've got a nice gradient from blue all the way, yellow to white. Go up here, and you've got the control bar, and I'm going to go with a radial. So you need to set this. You could go with linear, but it just will not look like a glow, as well as normal and apply. Now I'd suggest apply it round about near the top of the selection, just about there, and just drag out. And you can of course reapply it multiple times until you're happy with your design. You may like that, or maybe the previous one. But just create a nice highlight there, the yellow, and that's from this gradient, and the blue. And as I said, you can vary the colors. You don't need to go with that. It just looks nice, I think. White, yellow, and blue. However, you can't define this as a pattern. What you need to do is go to select and deselect. So there's no selection there. And then you've got the whole thing to define as a pattern. So edit and define pattern. Now there's a limit, I think it's about 5,000 by 5,000. So you might find that just make certain it's a fairly small file, define pattern, and then give it a name. Click OK. Once you've done that, Go to a document here. Now this document's 1,500 by 1,500. Go to Edit, and then Fill. And in this case, go for Pattern Option. So Pattern Option. Make certain the pattern you select is the one you just created. I've got one obviously I did earlier. There's that one, select that. And make certain that the script is on. Go with Symmetry Fill. Now you can't modify the setting until the next panel. So Symmetry Fill is the one you want. You've got Brick Fill. You've got quite a few to choose from, but Symmetry Fill. So use that and click OK. Now nothing is displayed at this point. However, what you need to do is go here. You've got a lot of different symmetry types. Personally, I think number seven is the best one. Select that. I would suggest set the value to pattern scale, depending on what you want to achieve. If you want very small, you can reduce it down, put it to 1.25. That's the max, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it was bigger. Also, what you can do is pattern translation. Now that is if you, it will rotate it. There's no scaling or rotation feature, which would be brilliant, but what you can do, you can just, as you change that, you can see you get more of the blues then. If you want that design, that's perfectly reasonable. You might want more of the yellow, so just go move it back and forth until you're happy with the design you get. So you go that way, you get more, too much of the yellow, not enough of the blue. Personally, I want about there. Approximate there. But depending on what you want. Now, if you want some color randomness in this, you can as well, of course. You can modify the settings, then you'll just get, obviously, just reds and blues, etc. appearing. If you want it all solid as before, Go with that as zero and zero. Click OK. And there it is. Very quickly, you can apply that. And of course, up to that, you can apply effects and much, much more to it. You could, of course, also apply it to a layer and then combine it with other applications of the same pattern design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please leave in the comments below. Always appreciated. Thank you much.